As our calendars approach 2020, the reigning king of the streaming wars, Netflix, is getting rid of a number of movies to make room for everything that's coming to the site at the start of the new year. These are the movies you have to watch before they leave Netflix in January 2020. Even in a brand new decade, Greece is still the word, but it won't retain that status on Netflix after January 31st, 2020. The 1978 film, a silver screen adaptation of the 1971 musical of the same name, features Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta as a pair of click-crossed high school sweethearts who navigate their whirlwind romance, the status quo at Rydell High, and greaser culture with plenty of song and dance. If you've somehow yet to see Grease and are unfamiliar with the rock and roll in Danny Zuko and his sweet-turned-sassy Australian squeeze Sandy Olsen, now's the perfect time to catch the film from the comfort of your couch. And if you're like the vast majority of the people in the world and simply can't resist the charms of the film's characters and infectiously cheery soundtrack, don't miss out on streaming Grease for the thousandth time on Netflix before the month is up. Taking a hard left turn away from the feel-good fun of Grease, we arrive at American Psycho, director Mary Herron's half-black comedy, half-psychological horror that adapts Brett Easton Ellis' novel of the same name into a story that simmers below the surface before it splatters all over the place. Released in April 2000 to much critical acclaim, American Psycho centers on the well-to-do, detail-oriented investment banker Patrick Bateman, whose obsessions, insecurities, and penchant for extreme violence build to bursting. I guess I'm a pretty, uh, I mean, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. This one's not for the faint of heart or anyone with a fear of chainsaws, but for those wanting a terrifying flick to get sucked into, you have until January 31st, 2020 to watch American Psycho on Netflix. Before she was a teen girl who fell in love with a vampire, prior to her string of acclaimed indie flicks and years ahead of her stint as one of Charlie's Angels, Kristen Stewart splashed onto the Hollywood scene with her breakout film role in 2002's Panic Room. In director David Fincher's thriller, Stewart stars as Sarah Altman, the daughter of Jodie Foster's character Meg Altman. The mother-daughter pair move into a new home, a multi-story brownstone nestled in New York City's Upper West Side neighborhood, following Meg's recent divorce. You may predict where the plot is headed, that Meg and Sarah's new home is haunted by entities hungry for revenge, but Panic Room plays out differently. Meg and Sarah discover that the previous owner of the home built a panic room, a fortified hiding place to protect occupants in the event of a home invasion, natural disaster, or other threat of the same ilk. But that's not all that's inside the home. Trouble comes knocking on the Altman's door the very first night they move in. The grandson of the previous owner, Junior, along with his two accomplices, Burnham and Raoul, break into the home in search of $3 million locked in a floor safe inside the panic room. The Altmans engage in a life-or-death game of cat and mouse with a trio of home invaders who are determined to seize the money by whatever means necessary. Panic Room is available to stream on Netflix until January 31, 2020. 2019 saw the theatrical launch of Zombieland Double Tap, the long-awaited sequel to 2009's beloved zombie comedy Zombieland. The flick, directed by returning Helmer Ruben Fleischer, catapulted the property back into pop culture consciousness and had people scrambling to re-watch the original Zombieland. <laughs> Whether you saw the sequel in cinemas or decided to skip it, the OG flick holds up better than Twinkies doing a zombie apocalypse. So in January 2020, sit down with mad person disease survivors Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and Little Rock and watch as they fight off hordes of zombies, share their rules for avoiding death, and form their dysfunctional yet lovable makeshift family. Zombieland leaves Netflix on January 31, 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.